Hey all, Ryan here from Planetary Lapidary, and welcome to another episode of Freeform Fridays, where I take rocks and fossils I find on the western shore of Lake Michigan, shine them up and make them look pretty. So here's the initial area that I pull stuff from to do my Freeform Fridays. Kind of show you guys every week in case you're just first turn in, tuning in. That's where I keep them when I'm done with them. But this week, I have another little pile over here by the big saw. So these are all ones that I picked out that I want to make big freeform things out of. You know, they're thick enough to do stuff with. And then what I'm going to do something with today is this guy right here. This is just a big solid orange, you know, probably just stained on the outside stromatoporite. I'll get it wet just so you can see it anyways. Right here, okay, so there you can kind of see the banding all through. You know, the chances that that's still orange on the inside are pretty slim. Usually it's just right on the outer layer. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut, I wanna try to get a hockey puck out of this thing, <laughs> like an actual hockey puck size thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut a flat face here on the big saw, and then I'll lay it down I'll cut a flat face on this side, and then I'll flip it this way, and I'll cut another flat face on this side. So I have a totally perfect slab, you know, that's like, hopefully like an inch thick, maybe. Yeah, I'll try to get an inch thick out of there. So then I'll try to get, and then I'll trace a circle on there as big as I possibly can get out of that piece. And then we'll trim off the edges, and then we'll shine it up. So first things first is I'm gonna have to get the big saw set up over here to make some big old cuts. So let's get that saw set up and get going. Okay, that was rough, but we got our initial big thick slab. Should be pretty darn even. Now all I gotta do is draw the biggest circle I possibly can on here, and then we'll do a little more trimming, and then we'll do some sanding. So let's get it traced up, and we will do a little bit more trimming. Okay, so I have my circle drawn right here. That's gonna actually be a pretty nice size, but you can see this right here. And then all through the whole other side so i'm hoping that that's just like right on the surface right there but we'll find out i guess but what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna take i have an eight inch thick centered blade that i accidentally ordered a long time ago um that i don't really use anything use it in anything so what i use it for is just to do these trim ups like so i'm gonna trim this off trim this off trim all this off and then you can actually use the side of the blade a little bit to get some of this chunkier stuff off of here so you don't have to take off so much on the flat lap so I'm gonna get this thing going and we'll start trimming this up Okay, so there you can see you can kind of use the edge of that thick centered blade to just kind of sand away at the edges so now I won't have to sand away so much on the on the flat lap but all right so let's go get that set up we'll probably definitely start with the 80 maybe even the 60 to, to get this down to the line but uh, it's looking pretty good a little bit of yellow on there but hopefully I can get all of that off when I sand it down so let's get over to the flat lap.
Okay, we're through all the discs. I hit it with the cerium. Get some light here, and this is what I came up with. So here is the top. I think. Yeah, I think this is the top. Because the big fracture, this big fracture right here actually goes through the whole thing. Um, but it took a decent shine. You can actually see the differential sheen in there with all the little layers. Or the layers of stromatochoroid were like right there. So that's sweet. A little bit of lighter here, a little monster on the end. Then this is the bottom. A little bit more mudstone in there, a little bit more patterning. One pit opened up on me right there. Wipe the fingerprints off. But you can see, again, all that differential sheen and like the mudstone and all the layers. So two really good, really good flat sides. But then the cool part is the round side. So it's got all these stromatoporide layers. That's where that fracture came through. A little bit of the yellow staining stayed on there, which I liked. And it opens up into a little pocket right there with some mudstone. Gets a little darker here. But I think it turned out awesome. That's exactly what I wanted. You know, that that kind of sucks right there, that fracture. But I'll just keep the, the side with the fracture on it on the bottom. But I think it turned out awesome. It's not totally flat. It has a tiny little slant to it. But I wasn't about to try to flatten it out this time my hands were starting to hurt this thing is heavy and it took me a while to do it but I think it turned out awesome you know the whole the whole side there I'll try to get the light in the whole thing just shined up perfect you can see all those little layers in there sweet sweet exactly what I wanted I wanted a hockey puck and there it is made out of stromatoporoid so let's see yeah I don't think I'll be able to put it up on my actual shelf but we'll put it right there for now actually I might <laughs> It probably rolls because it's a pretty good circle. Oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, she fits up there, but I'm going to have to keep it down here. All right. So if you like this video, leave a like. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. Stay tuned for a couple close-ups at the end. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.